Hey, Novi. This is Mate here with my co-host, Caden. Today, we're bringing you another episode of Cultureverse for our main topic, uh, for, or for our first topic, I should say. We are talking about the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie coming out. Caden, take it away. All right, well, to start, if any of you don't know, we have a Ninja Turtles movie coming. It's actually kind of the same animation as Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Um, that's actually becoming a very big thing because I feel that was a very big step in the movie industry um because we haven't seen anything like that before so ninja turtle is doing that now and actually looks pretty interesting I don't, i'm not sure how i feel about the fact that they are kind of younger ish you know like they're just now really getting into it which is fine it's nothing wrong with that obviously because we haven't seen that you know what i'm saying like we would see them being like the older teenagers, all that, but right now they're just getting into it. I I want to hear Master Splinter talk about why he gave the turtles their weapons because I do love when he talks about that because it is very important to their characters. It's exciting to me that they're doing this. I actually and the and the cast is stacked actually. Oh yeah, the cast is amazing. Oh yeah. yeah. What what do you think about the, uh, the trailer? I'm also pretty excited for it. It's not like oh my god, I can't <coughs> wait for it, mm -hmm. but I am looking forward to it. Uh, because the animation style is is amazing. I oh, love yeah. the Spider Verse. I recently watched that a couple of months back. I I actually loved it a lot. It's probably one of my favorite Spider Man movies. But back to oh, Teenage Mutant yeah. Ninja Turtles. Yep, the cast is stacked. You have Jackie Chan playing. Uh, he's uh, he's uh, Splinter, right? Yeah, 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 yeah he's Splinter. Splinter. And then uh, Seth Rogen. And then I forgot who else. Let me let me search it up. But I cannot wait. Uh, it's it's gonna be really good. But. Yeah, so far, that's, that's what my thoughts are. I'm wondering who's going to be the main villain, though. I don't know, because I feel like they're too young for Shredder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what, well, what's good. They already confirmed Shredder's not going to be the villain. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, am I actually? Yeah, I don't know. Because um, we have Rocksteady and Bebop. They're clowns, so, like, yeah. they can take them because, you know, they're just, they just be joking around. I think that... The two that we can 100% cut out is Krang and Shredder. Cause yeah. Shredder, he's just, he's that guy well, in Krang. Yeah, I know. Smart. Looks Yeah, Seth Rogen plays Bebop, and then uh, yeah, John yeah. Cena plays Rocksteady. And <laughs> that's gonna, that's, gonna, that's a <laughs> funny match. Really right funny. That's yeah, a funny 100%. Match. Uh, Giancarlo Espinosa, he's playing Baxter Stockman. I, I, don't know, I yeah. wasn't really big on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, when I was younger. I still thought it was cool. I saw like the live action movie and everything. Oh yeah, I like the movies. Yeah, yeah, the, were movie, yeah the movies like were sweet. And yeah, oh, Ice Cube's in it too. Oh my god, yeah, this cast is really stacked. Yeah, so, yeah, what I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. What I'm mainly excited to see is how Seth Rogen is producing it, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's just such amazing to see him take such a turn in his career. How he made like such like. Goofy comedies growing yeah. up, like you know, like Super Bad, Pineapple Express, and uh, the interview and stuff like that, and how he turned his career from you know being a goofy guy to actually making like really good like cartoon like a Emmy nominated and Emmy award winning shows like Invincible yeah. and The Boys, and mm -hmm. he, it's just it's just amazing to see what he's done for himself. The Boys is a great show. But yeah, that's great show. that's amazing. That's uh. Cause he was one of the main producers on that. Uh, I gotta say, maybe, maybe I liked Invincible better a little bit more than The Boys. I, I think so too. That's really hard. But the thing is, we only got really one good. season of Invincible so far. That's true. But yeah. that one season was amazing. Great, but... I was not expecting that. I wasn't at either. All, especially what Omni Man <coughs> did to his own son. I was. I, know. I was in shock right there. Yeah, that and that that show is really good. It, it's tough because sure the boys have more seasons, but sometimes one season is all you need to determine if you really like a show. It depends. You yeah. Know, sometimes it'll fall off, but not. I where they're going, they have their template. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They have the comics, and if they stick with that, because they said we didn't even get to like half of the first like yeah, comic. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so there's <clears throat> there's so much material that could be used with that and I think that if they just stick with it if they just stick with it and they don't trail off completely then the potential is 100% there yeah no I, I want to see more uh, more Voltrum uh, plant like people uh, more Voltrum people from the planet mm -hmm. I've got this one guy's name I think his name is like Crag or something uh, Thrag yeah Thrag yeah, yeah what's I heard him? about him that that guy is insane because after I watched the show I read some of the comics 
and it's crazy to see like kind of like of a C tier comic, not really that good, yeah. be made into literally like an A tier show. Same mm-hmm. thing with the boys, because the boys comics yeah. are not good at all, really. Yeah, it's really. But not. the shows are. Um, but the show is amazing. The casting is kind of more unknown casting, but it's still spot on. Especially mm-hmm. Anthony Starr, yeah. who plays Homelander. Mm-hmm. That guy is terrifying. Oh, he's, he's probably ter- one of the best. Like him playing. He won an award for play- playing oh. the best villain. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm pretty sure I saw that. Like on uh, IMBD. That's very well IMDb. deserved. I yeah, oh, yeah, very well, well especially season three when yeah. we saw him. Kind of, <laughs> he was unhinged. Yeah, when we saw him pop off in public. And, yeah. You know, like giving everybody the business. It's like kind of made you like, it kind of made you scared because you didn't know what was coming next. Like, what is the homeland they're yeah, going to do next? Especially when Soldier Boy was on the loose too. Yeah. And he was like, no. Uh, he was kind of tripping actually like, when he was yeah. doing like a, what was he doing? I haven't watched the show in so long. Oh, yeah, he was giving a speech. At that guy's like president, like elect thing, and he looks into the crowd and he sees a guy that looks like Soldier Boy, yeah, and he, he kinda starts kind of going crazy, yeah. like a little bit. And I was yep. like, wow, it's like it's scary to see like Homeland to crack like this. Yeah, which gets me so ready for season four, especially the way season three ended, what he oh, did to man. that guy, yeah, that was and the public and everybody loved it. I everybody know. cheered. It's like that's oh, really because he was like, oh, so these like, oh. people don't care. So yeah. that's like kind of the issue with that. I actually think I'm I'm hoping that he. Becomes Reverse Flash. Yes, he that's look, he's perfect. perfect. Cast. He, and he's an incredible actor after mm-hmm. Homeland. Yeah. like he has, a, he does great. We can see that he can play the villain. Oh yes, he's done it before. Exactly, and he yeah. does it very, very well. Like you, you can really see what he's like feeling, and yeah. that's really interesting. Because sometimes with the scenes with Homeland, when you see him, it's just like, like I said, you just don't know what he's gonna do, and it just puts you on like a tense mood like when he was in the elevator yeah. with uh starlight and he's like threatening yeah her, but she pulls out like the record and it, that yep. literally saved her life yeah exactly he's just so insane and menacing i i love his character i mean i love certain aspects of his character there's yeah things, <laughs> <laughs> there's things i can't say <laughs> but uh yeah no it's uh it's funny to see him snap but once again what seth rogan does with both those shows i'm I, I love this new turn he's made into his career. I'm yeah. very excited for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like I said, it's something like I like. I'm like, oh, like I can't wait for, it, but it's something I'm definitely looking forward to. Yeah, yeah, I I can't wait. I forgot the release date, but it's coming this year. I want to say late this year. Yeah, yeah, I think like late this year, like early 2024. Because I know a lot of production for uh, movies and shows usually do start around summertime. Mm-hmm. Like I know with the Boys season four. They're right now filming in Vancouver, I think, okay. or Toronto. Right. And uh, that's going to come out either late 2023 or early 2024. Yeah, so probably. That's, what, that's when, like, a lot of movies and shows start doing their uh, their production. It's, like, right around this time. Yeah. So, so I know, like, Venom 3 is right now in production, too. Mm-hmm. I'm not excited. <laughs> I know. To be honest, like, I love Tom Hardy. I've never seen a bad movie with him. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Venom's, like, not, like, one of the best movies. Mm-hmm. But like Tom Hardy's still a, a great actor. He's one of my favorite. Like I get excited by seeing him. Like seeing him in Inception, seeing him in yeah. Legend. Great actor. Yeah, it's more of the fact. Like the first Venom, I actually enjoyed more than the second one because Same. I'll say about the second one, I mainly didn't like it because it was more. It felt more like a comedy, and like they Venom and Eddie were kind of like an old married couple. The way yeah. they were like bickering and all that, and then Carnage. I feel if they made it rated R, then we really could have seen Carnage. Yeah, we would have saw him because he's one of the most like deadliest, most yeah. like unhinged characters exactly. in the Marvel universe. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of a waste of his character I and a waste so of too. casting. I loved Woody Harrelson for casting as that, yeah. especially when we saw him at the end of Venom One, like the little post credits yeah. scene. I was like, oh my god, I'm like the second one's gonna be nuts. I'm yeah, that's what it's I was gonna be thinking. great, but no. With and then also potential. when they did the the special ending scene. What was it? He was on vacation, and he gets teleported into the Marvel Universe. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, cool. I'm like, it's right before Spider-Man No Way Home, too. I'm right. like, we're going to see him in Spider-Man No Way Home. We, we, didn't, we didn't get to see We yeah. saw him for like a split second when he's talking to the guy about Thanos and Hulk mm-hmm. and how he leaves a little bit of Venom symbiote behind. Yeah, but and like, I don't, I mean, like, w- waste of potential. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of just our thoughts on Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I think I personally think it's going to be very interesting. Yeah. Very good. I'm excited. Because I'm obviously gonna go see it. There's no question. I, I've grown up with Ninja Turtles. I love Ninja Turtles. Yeah. I don't care how old I am. I will always see movies like that. Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. My inner child will always come out during those times. There's just some things you can never get too old for. Yeah. You know. Um. 
yes yeah, so that's our first topic now we have topic two because we're gonna talk about some gaming because we didn't get to necessarily last episode so we're gonna be talking about a few things we're gonna be talking about some games that'll be coming this year hogwarts legacy we'll be talking about resident evil uh star wars spider-man 2 and one more thing uh Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My bad, I, I abbreviated. No, it's all good. I said it that. It was like one, two in the morning. I was doing it. I was gonna send it to you right there. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Kane's probably gonna think I got insomnia if I'm sending him stuff at two in the morning. About the oh no, I love it, bro. I, I, I'm up. I'm <laughs> I was up like, all the time. I was like, I'm like, I don't want to think like I'm, I'm nuts like that. No, so. bro. I I encourage yeah. that. I would have loved so, it. Then. I'll, uh, I'll be up. Let me ask you. I know you have a PS5. Yep. How is Hogwarts Legacy? I play a little bit at my friend's house. I like it. I like it too. Uh, well, I actually, I actually play on PC. I probably should have played on PS5 because it probably would be smoother. My PC is not necessarily like high tier, but the gameplay I think is very fun. You feel like you are in the Wizarding World, which is so good because we haven't had a game like that. You know, usually the Harry Potter games were like playing as Harry. But yeah. we don't. But in this, this one, takes we place like a hundred years before yeah. Harry and Hermione and all of them. Yep. Yeah, it takes place before even Voldemort. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. So, it's great that we get to make our own character. We have our own journey. This doesn't have to do anything with the movies. It doesn't have to do anything with the books. We had like obviously there are like common kind of references like yeah. the it's headmaster head is yeah. uh, the headmaster is Sirius Black's great grandfather. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. And he is, <clears throat> he doesn't care about the students. He really just cares about the title of being headmaster, which is really funny because he's a jerk. <laughs> That's kind of like the whole Sirius Black family. Yeah. Other than Sirius Black himself. Yeah, exactly. Like, I've recently found out that him and Bellatrix were cousins. I oh, did not really? know that. Yeah, when I was rewatching you know, the fifth one, mm -hmm. and you know, she said, uh, she's like, Avada Kedavra, and she got Sirius Black. I was like, oh, no. Yeah. And my brother's like, oh, yeah, like, because uh, my brother was home. We just picked him up from spring break. And he was like, "Oh yeah." He's like, "He's like, magic killing your own cousin." I'm like, oh, yeah. "I'm like, wait." <laughs> he was like, "Yeah." I'm like, "I'm like, oh my god, I did not know that." Because it was like my second time rewatching that. I can't believe I did not pick up on that. I didn't know that at all, actually. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the game's fun. The gameplay is very smooth. The dueling is very nice. I like the evasive, like the evasive moves. The spells you can do. I think there are 25 spells in all that you can do, which is actually a fair amount to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Uh, like it seems like it would be like a little, but that's that's a that's that's, that's kind of wide variety too. Especially yeah, yeah. does that include like the dark arts too? Yep. Spells, yep. yeah. Yep. Uh, it's I do like it, and I enjoy the story. I like that you can have mounts. I like that you can have potions. You can have your own like farm, quote unquote. I guess you could say, kind of like how in Fantastic Beast and where to find them. Newt had the, I think that was his name, Newt, I don't remember his name, he had the beast farm, like the beast area where he took oh, care yeah, of the yeah, beast. Oh, like, yeah, like in the suitcase or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, and you can do that in the game, and that's just so cool that you can do that. You can have your own, like, pets, you can, like, feed you, you have to feed them, brush them. It's great, it's great. So you said you played it a little bit? Uh, yeah, I played a little bit at my friend's house, because I don't have a PS5 yet, I was thinking about getting one uh, when Spider-Man 2 comes out so I can just mm -hmm. get the bundle and get yeah. Spider-Man 2 with yeah. it instead of buying a PS5 and then dropping the extra 60 yeah. for Spider-Man 2. I might as well just grab the bundle while I can. You got a Xbox for PC? So no, 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 but uh, PS4. I, I grew up on Xbox. Uh, around 8th grade, I switched to PS4 because I really wanted to play Spider-Man like in God yeah, of War. That was the and big I got thing. into Spider-Man, yeah. and I played God of War, and I realized Sony had so much exclusives, like yeah, Uncharted, really The Last exclusives. of Us. I was like, wow, I'm like, I'm a PS4 guy now. Really? So, yeah. I don't know. I've always stuck with Xbox. I mean, obviously, I, I'll play Xbox, PC, or PlayStation. I have all three, so I don't mind. I, yeah. But I will say I have stuck with Xbox. But I, I can 100% say PlayStation has great exclusives yeah like especially for single player their stories are always beautiful i i will never have any bias towards that i can always like admit that the playstation exclusives are beautiful yeah you even know? though like like my heart remains with xbox but right now my loyalty is pledged to ps4 that's fair yeah that's fair because you now xbox i can't forget like now it's done for me the great memories i've made out oh, of yeah. it uh I've always loved the Xbox, but right now I'm just kind of a PS4 guy. I Mainly for the story exclusives. Mm -hmm. I always love the better graphics too. Mm 
uh, like playing Red Dead Redemption on that oh, was oh my god amazing compared to the Xbox. I watched my brother play it and then I'd play it. I'm like wow. I'm like, Thank God I got it on PS4. The story for Red Dead was. Oh my! I'm right now replaying oh it. Just got the chapter three. It's so beautiful. beautiful. It's, it's so. Beautiful. It's so. Beautiful. Like, you you would never think that a game about outlaws and you know gunslingers would have such an emotional toll on you. Yeah. And then in chapter six, at the end of chapter six, you're like, I shut a tear, man. I'm oh like, yeah, no, was, it was. Oh my it God, was like, great. Poor Arthur. I'm <laughs> like, I'm like, I know, <laughs> and it, it's uh, that story was great, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, Hogwarts Legacy, did you like the story or any of the gameplay? Yeah, I played the, I only played about like 15 minutes of it for gameplay. Mm -hmm. I remember flying around the broom, I did a couple of spells. Uh, I did like this one teleport move, kind of. It's like, a, it was like a yeah. fast dash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did that, I liked that. So, but for the 15 minutes I played, I enjoy it. I, I don't know if I'm going to buy it, though, because now I feel like the hype's kind of wore off it. I haven't yeah, heard yeah. a lot about it, mm -hmm. but... I don't know, I'm, I'm I'm still debating if I'm gonna buy it when it does come out for PS4. Yeah, it might that, be one of those games that will go on like you could just get when they when it goes, when it goes on, sale. on sale. Yeah, 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 that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's usually like the move when like you do want to play a game but you're not like as hyped for it and you want to just wait. You might as well just wait for a sale. Yeah, you know? yeah, literally, that's that's what I did with the. Uh, I think that's what I did with Far Cry Five. Yeah, yeah. I like Far Cry Five actually. I, I'm more of a Far Cry Three and Four guy. Yeah. I like <clears throat> very unpopular opinion. Four is my favorite. For me, it goes four, three, five, and then six. I'll give you that. Six is, is that New Dawn or? I think that's no, no, no. Six is the the one with uh, Juan Carlos Espinosa, the guy who plays Gus. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. Kind of a waste of potential for a villain. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know, because, like, I liked him when we did see him, but we don't, didn't really see him much. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, the gameplay just felt, like, really rehashed, nothing really mm -hmm. new, except you can fly, like, different planes now. Yeah. I, I love the map and the music, yeah. too, because, like, it took pla uh, place, like, in a Spanish island, and I love the music. Yeah. I, I was jamming out. Oh, yeah, it was, it, it but, was uh, an all right game. I, like, I do like yeah. the fifth one the most. Uh, Primal isn't bad. I enjoy Primal. Yeah, I like Primal, too. Uh, new Dawn wasn't too bad, actually. I It took a second for me to get into it. I never played New Dawn. I just... I heard so many bad things about it. I just watched it on YouTube, but uh, I did like the main the main villain for that and Far Cry Five. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, Johnny something, Johnny Seeds. Uh, Joseph Seeds. Joseph Seeds. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I like how like this one was like a cult and how he preached like the the yeah. word of God and how in the end everything he said was true. Yeah. Which was crazy. I was not expecting that. Yeah. Uh, he actually he comes back for the new dawn. He because it's, yeah, a, it's yeah, a, yeah. a continuation. Yeah. Um, <coughs> it's a continuation off the bad, uh, bad ending. Yeah. For me, my favorite villain though in the Far Cry series has to be uh, Voss Montenegro. Oh yeah. Yeah. You, you can't type, you cannot him. top uh, Michael Mando. Yeah. That's, he, he was, he was nuts. Oh, he was yeah. crazy. Hundred percent. So I mean, yeah. Uh, well, did you see the story trailer for Star Wars? Yes, I did. Star Wars. Yeah, that looks sweet. I'm mm -hmm. actually right now also playing. Well, I actually haven't touched in a while. I'm right now playing the first Star Wars game. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, I kind of like it so far. I can't really get into it though. Really? Yeah, but I, I've like I've watched my brother play it too, like a couple of years back when it first came out. I like the story, but I don't know why. I just can't get into it for the life of me. Uh, I mean that's fair. I, I feel like because like for me, I I, did, I like it a lot. I played it twice. I I like the Souls like type of feel. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I, I do like Dark Souls. Elden Ring, Sekiro, those were very enjoyable games to me. And when and I am a Star Wars nerd. I always have been. I love the comics, the shows, the games, the movies. The fact that we got a Star Wars game that has Souls-like elements in it, I like a lot. So I did enjoy the game because, you know, lightsabers, you're dodging, you're weaving, you're doing all this. The Force. Yeah, yeah. you're using the Force, and I, I enjoyed it. I mean... I mean, if you I mean, if you're not really into it, you're not really into it. Uh, really which is kind of weird because I I love the Star Wars movie. Yeah. Because uh, when I first watched Star Wars, I watched from like episode one, episode two, then episode three, mm. and then I went back to the older episodes that yep. were first released. Yeah. So I kind of got like the whole like prequel story before like the main story. Yeah. So I was kind of happy about that. I liked all the Star Wars movie. The new ones. Yeah, I like damn. Yeah. I like damn Driver. The yeah. Driver. Kylo Ren was Kylo, Kylo Ren was so sweet. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the new ones. They're not. 
bad. Not terrible as everybody says, yeah. but they're not a masterpiece. S- yeah. uh, Force Awakens 7. Um, Force Awakens. That one is actually, I liked a lot. The eighth one, I, I wa- the first time I watched it, I liked it, but I I don't like it. That's anymore. funny. I remember the, the seven and nine, but I don't really remember the eighth one at all. <laughs> exactly. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I can't tell you a single scene. Other than I think at the end when the kid looks up at the stars and uses the force to yeah. grab the broom. I think I don't even know if that was. The they didn't one. even do it. Yeah, the, that was the eighth one. They didn't do anything with yeah, that. Yeah, they're like, oh, oh my god, like a new Jedi. Yeah, exactly. Never but, talked about yeah, it. Yeah, never talked about <laughs> yeah, it again. Oh, okay, cool. They the only memorable thing about that for me was Kylo and Rey versus the Sith guards when they're in Snoke's throne room or whatever. It was. It just was a. It was all right. You know? Yeah. And, oh, and and Rey holding out the lightsaber to Luke. That was cool. I guess. I just. I don't know. And, like, they have so many plot holes for, like, the eighth and ninth one. The ninth one. Is eighth one the one where Luke comes back? Yeah. Yes. All right. Is. Yeah, I think I do remember Is it? it? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it is. Because remember yeah, it at is. the end, yeah. you know, he's, like, getting blasted by, like, mm-hmm. big turrets. And he's yep. still standing there, but he was a force ghost yeah. the entire time. Yeah. Yeah, and that's then that's how, like, the movie ends with them escaping away from yeah. Kyle Ren. Yeah. It, I don't know. With the ninth one and when Finn was, like, Ray, I have something to tell you. He never told her there was supposed to be a director's cut, and what he was going to tell her is that he was Force-sensitive, that he actually had the Force in him because he found that out. They, I remember I was in eighth grade, and they said they were going to do a director's cut. They never did it, which I – that's so annoying because there were too many plot holes. Yeah. You know, and it was just like – the thing with the ninth one in specific is that – it was cool the first time I saw it, but after that, it just got boring. Yeah. You yeah. Know? <laughs> That's just how it was. Like, with, like, certain movies, they do need the director's cut. Cause, like, yeah. It really needs to like, I'm, uh, I recently rewatched Zack Snyder's Justice League. Yeah. <clears throat> great. Great. Especially, don't get me wrong, four hours long, but it takes time uh, it takes time to explain everything. Yeah. And I, uh, I loved it. Oh yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah, before. that one was way better than the first one. The first one, like, oh, there's yeah. so much plot holes, and like they actually like they gave Flash and Cyborg's characters such a redemption. Mm-hmm. How that like even after the world ended, Flash is able to go back in time and yeah. reset it. And I was like, oh my god, like, so let's good. go. Yeah, I, I, I was actually watching that during virtual school. I remember, like, I was <laughs> I was in class watching it throughout my entire school day. I walked out uh, my room. I was like, that was so good. And my mom was like, are you supposed to be in class? I was like, oh, I just, I just watched. I, I just looked at the parts that I hadn't seen. But no, I watched those. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Because I think that's when we were doing, uh, where you only go two days. I forgot what it was called, uh, asynchronous or something. Yeah. Yeah, like you go only two days. And then Wednesday mm-hmm. was like a Zoom day. And then uh, I remember I, I had to go to school that Thursday or something or Friday. And it came out on that day. Yeah. And I got home. And my brother literally came back from college. He's like, are you ready? I'm like, I'm ready. And we sat down <laughs> like four hours from like three o'clock. All the way to like seven, almost eight. I and mean, we didn't take like any break at all. We just knocked out the entire movie. Yeah. And it was great. It was yeah, well worth was my really four, four hours for sure. Oh, yeah, 100%. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for the new game. We're getting to get companions technically now, which is like we'll be fighting with people that we meet. We get to fight with the Night Sister. We'll be fighting with somebody new that we'll be meeting in the game. You have stances. Which is really cool. I like that kind of like Ghost of Tsushima a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Which is really nice. Uh, that was a great game. Oh, yeah. I, I I feel like, I don't know, Ghost, I feel like story-wise it's very, very good. Gameplay-wise, it's like it's cool. It kind of reminds me of Assassin's Creed. I'm not going to lie. I'll give you that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. I just got such an Assassin's Creed. Like, it was different. Don't get me wrong. But for some reason, I just got such an Assassin's Creed vibe from it, mm-hmm. which is probably why I also love it because I love the Assassin's Creed yeah. game. But, yeah, that was great. Uh, another game I'm excited for, Spider-Man 2. Man, I, it's a, it's a, we're getting that pretty soon. We should yeah. be getting a trailer yeah. soon. We keep, we, we, every time they do, uh, PlayStation does a state of play, uh, showcase, we're just hoping for a Spider-Man 2 trailer. I, I need it. I, yeah, I, I want to know more. They left us with that teaser in 2022. I think and 2021. I think really? it was a while ago. Yeah, yeah, man. Like almost two years ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like we 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 need to know more. I mean, like they kind of dropped some like information a little bit on what's going on. Like you'll be able to play as both Peter and Miles. You'll be able to have symbiote suits for every suit supposedly. 
which I, I am interested in how they're going to do that. Yeah. It's, it, I, I want to see gameplay, though. Yeah, same, same. I want to see some new moves. Like I said, I hope they're like the gameplay is not just like rehash of the old. Yep. Don't worry, keep the swinging the way it is. Yeah. The swinging is one of the best parts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I can't wait for a Green Goblin fight though. Yeah. That's gonna be nice. That would be. Yeah. Fun. I and like the swinging. I think if they made you swinging a little bit faster, so like you kind of feel more like you're like soaring. You're through. zipping through this. Yeah, exactly. The and then city, like yeah. they put in some like spider. They put in some like. Web, web tricks that you can do like in the uh in the amazing spider-man 2 game that when they had it on xbox you could zip you could web zip you would like attach two things and then you would like move back and you launch yourself out which was really cool i really like i actually like amazing spider-man 2 i played that one a lot i played that story three times and i think that there is so much you can do with Spider-Man's character and his story. You can do a lot with the gameplay, with what both him and Miles can do. I'm hoping we get newer suits. I'm pretty sure we are. I'm not exactly sure, but I hope we get some newer suits because the old ones were cool, but I want to see some more because there's so many more suits that you can do. Yeah, I, that's, that's the thing about Spider-Man. Like, uh, he just has so many suits where that, like you could choose from in the first game. Yeah. But just in general, from the comics, from the movies, there's just so many suits just in general. So, like, I, I can't imagine which ones they put in. Yeah. Because there's saying. just so much to pick from. Right. And almost all of them are great. Oh, which yeah. Is, which is nice. And uh, another thing I'm also really hoping for is Craven the Hunter. Yeah. 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 Craven's fun. He's a fun he's villain to fight. Yeah, he's rumored. Yeah. So, I don't know if that's true, though. I know we're getting Venom because I've got Venom, Green Goblin, and then possibly Craven. Pros- possibly Craven. Sandman would be dope to go against. Sandman would be cool. Yeah, I can get with that. Maybe I. I to be honest, oh, we actually no, we already had Scorpion in the first one. I forgot. It's kind of a waste though. Yeah. It was like it was like a really lame boss fight. Like yeah. he poisons you and kind of just swinging around the yeah. illusions. It it's like, like ooh wow. Yeah, it like, was scary. It, it was it was. Eh. We did fight Rhino. I mean, they kind of got a lot of their rogue gallery out the like the yeah. main bigger yeah. parts. They of almost the rogue had like gallery. the entire Sinister Six, basically. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Uh, I to be honest, who did we have? We had. I I one hundred percent want to say this. I really hope they don't do as many like MJ type missions. The oh sneaking my around. God. It was yes. dreadful. It was that dreadful. was horrible. Those are horrible. Those are the worst missions. I cannot it care. Was so it was so bad <laughs> i couldn't do just it just to waste my time man just yeah it really time. was and it was just it wasn't fun like doing that wasn't fun to me but the first spider-man and miles Mor- i actually i'll say this spider-man the story was better but miles morales i'll say the gameplay yeah, yeah the story of miles morales was like it wasn't bad it wasn't but bad it wasn't, but it wasn't, it wasn't quite there when i fought ryan for the fourth time i was like all right that's it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, i'm like that's enough of this yeah <laughs> yeah um I, I do like the gameplay of Miles Morales more, but yeah, the story wasn't it just wasn't like completely there, but it was all right. Yeah. So yeah, Spider Man Two should be coming real soon. I'm hoping sooner than later. Uh, we and then next is we had Resident Evil. Just the demo came out, or did the full game? Come so out? full game comes out this Friday, okay. Larry Spring right when Spring uh, Spring Break starts. Okay. And then the demo came out about a week ago. I played the demo insane the yeah. gameplay the pairing the fighting the the monsters nuts and uh especially the main character leon he's probably like one of my favorite resident evil characters other than mm-hmm. ethan ethan's yeah. probably my favorite because he's yeah, he just some some random normal guy who got <laughs> thrown in the middle of it and right. he was going toe to toe with some of the scariest villains ever and exactly. he was coming up on top so you gotta respect it oh yeah and then uh, Chris is probably my second because he's more brute force. Mm-hmm. But Leon, he's all agile, all fighting techniques. Yep. I can't wait to play as him, especially the way he fights and like the pairing, how uh, you get like your own knife. You know, you can block attacks and stuff. You okay. couldn't do that in the other games. You could block attacks so that right. you take like less damage. But uh, yeah, that game is gonna be fun. And the graphics look amazing from they the do. game from the early 2000s. So they were yep. like more like late 2000s. Mm-hmm. So they did a great job remastering it. So I'm pretty excited for the full game. Yeah, I, I really I've only played 
Resident Evil 7 Village, but I have I been playing a little bit of one of the Resident Evil games. Uh, it's not bad. It's pretty interesting how they do it. I like. I don't mind the third person. I'm I'm just used to the first person. Yeah, no, I same. Because I played the first person's first. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's just taking a second to get used to third person. But I I think that it'll be good. Because those know. ones always like the first person ones always gave more of a horror. Yeah, vibe to it. yeah. Like third one, no, I can see the enemy coming from a mile away and yeah. just like drop kick him real quick. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but, like first person, that gives you that horror element and you get nervous because like you, you turn know. around the corner and there's just one guy way in there right there and exactly. the thing is with like these monsters they don't go down easy oh, yeah, it no. takes a good like four or five shots and yeah, until maybe they get down and then when you walk away you turn around they get back, they're back up. And they're like, oh yeah. my god bro and like you know like yeah, it's exactly. so hard to get supplies in that game too it's like yeah, oh my god it's bro, annoying. Bro, what did I do here like I, you just gotta run at some mm -hmm. point yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, Res this is Resident Evil 4, I think, is one of the more popular ones, so it's cool that they're getting remastered. I know that a lot of people are excited, yeah. very excited. I I'm one of those people. Yeah. I cannot wait. Uh, for our last game, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. No, oh, yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for that. The gameplay does look nice. Personally, I don't think the story's going to be that good. I do like the design of some of the characters. And... Okay, uh, yeah, I do like the design of some of the characters, but uh, one thing I'm I'm really excited to see is how Wonder Woman is the only one who's not brainwashed yeah. by Brainiac, and I want to see how she's going to go against Superman, Green Lantern, mm -hmm. Cyborg, the entire Suicide Squad, yeah. and then Arkham Batman on top. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm. It's gonna be for. crazy. He is. He's nuts. Yeah, that guy's not human. At yeah, all. no, he's yeah. he's something else. 100%. He is something else. And I'm sure. glad Kevin Conroy's coming back for the last time. I rest know. In rest peace, in man. peace, man. Jeez. What great Batman voice actor. I know. Actor. I know. Yeah. He he'll always be my Batman. Batman. Same, same. Anytime same. I Anime see Batman series. in comics, I hear him. Yeah, same. Whenever I'm reading the comics, I always have like certain voices in my head. Exactly. And it's exactly. always Kevin Conroy because he just has such. A such yeah, a, bad a very man. distinct really Batman voice. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I'll like you can't it. replicate it because the way no. he does it is just perfect. It's very unique. Beautiful. I think that the gameplay is nice. I, w I was a little shaky on that first, but I, I am very now I, I'm coming to more to terms. Yeah, bit, yeah, exactly. Uh, I like that the battle pass is only cosmetics, which some people aren't really like happy about. But I actually yeah. like that it's yeah. only cosmetics. cosmetics yeah, you know, no, it just makes makes your character look doper. Exactly, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And, the, and I've seen and we've seen some of the cosmetics. They look pretty nice. Uh, they there's one where like King Shark is wearing Superman attire. There's one where uh, Harley Quinn is in Wonder Woman attire. All this and it's really it's cool. And I think the story's gonna be really cool. Flash is a menace in this. Yeah, one. no, he's he's, he's toying with the Suicide Squad. <laughs> That's yeah. gonna be nuts, especially in the trailer when we saw Wonder Woman just drop him real quick, yep. and, then just, uh, and then she threw the lasso of truth around him. He's like, no, like Barry, like how do I stop this? He's like, you gotta, you gotta kill, kill us, Diana. I was like, it's oh. her coming to I'm that like, realization. Her I was like, her. no way. I'm like, I'm like, you're not killing Arkham Batman. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no bro, way. Nah, yeah. Bro's too smart. You bro's know? too smart. Yeah. I think he's ahead of the curve. Potential though. Yeah, there's yeah. potential in this, and I'm hoping this isn't this is not an Avengers situation, and I think that they're. Because they said they're gonna do DLCs with more characters, and with that is like, who they gonna pick? Yeah. Because there's a lot of people. I hope I really want them to put in Bloodsport. I want them to put in Peacemaker, because I I do like those two a lot, even from comics. And there's just there's a lot of because like there are a lot of Suicide Squads. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of Task Force X. So with that is like, who could yeah, they who, do? Who are they gonna choose? Yeah. Uh, I think we can maybe get through our topic, our last topic, really, really quickly. Or do you just want to save that for the next one? We can just save it for the next save one. Out, we because we'd be short on time if we did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, well, that is it. Thank you for listening to Cultureverse. I'm your host Matia. This is Caden Novi. You guys have a great spring break. Be safe and have fun, and we will see you in the next one. Yep. We'll see you later.